What's up, Dirty Cones? Alright, so, um, meat, meat bag reminded me of something. <clears throat> he's somewhat, when he does his underwaters, it's, uh, it's very zen for him. He's thinking about it. And, uh, I, that's what I do. I mean, I shoot, I zen out, I space out half the time. Like, I'm like, do, 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 you know, thinking about just, I'm, I'm in the moment, right? <clears throat> I'm breathing right, I'm thinking. I'm relaxing, I'm not worried about what's going on, and, and that leads me into a um, question somebody asked me, like, in doc, mental, spiritual, physical, what do you need to do to prepare for it? And, uh, I don't know, if you guys missed last night, Ben Dorsey Day at Floor is awesome, Johnny Bush playing soon, and uh, no, Floor doesn't pay me to, to hit him up, I'm just, if you're in Texas, you, if you're within the sound of my voice, come to Floors, Friday, Saturday, Sunday night. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Good times. Love Floors. Uh, anyway, uh, where was I? Alright, so mental, physical, spiritual, what do you got to do <clears throat> to prepare for Indoc? And, uh, or, you know, what, what can you do now while you're preparing to come here? And uh, I've said this before, I don't know if anyone caught on to it, because I, I don't think I hit on it. But uh, your entire life is preparing you for Indoc. Your entire life is preparing you for the rest of your life, and your entire life is preparing you for pararescue. So those missed training events, uh, they might hurt later. It's like uh, running on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. You know, it's getting you ready for that eval on Monday. So, you know, run a little bit harder on your intervals trying to stay with uh, the instructor who's running you instead of, you know, falling back. Uh, those are all important aspects because it all builds onto each other. So everything you do from how you live your life now, how you organize or how you don't organize, how you use teamwork, you know, or how you're like, oh, I'm a lone wolf, I don't need anybody. You know, all that kind of stuff plays into what kind of PJ you're going to be. And, you know, are, are you the kind of guy that finishes his stuff and then, you know, looks around and goes, well, I got mine. Uh, if, if you're that kind of guy, then uh, Pararescue might not be for you because this is the kind of place where you really need to be like, you good? What do you need? What can I do for you? You know, it's, it's a customer service kind of thing, <clears throat> you know, kind of in a, you know, welcome to Walmart. How can I help you? You got to put other people before you. If, if you treat life or indoc kind of like buddy breathing, you know, my whole goal is that you breathe and your whole goal is that I breathe, how can we fail, right? So, definitely a fan of teamwork. So, learning teamwork early, you know, is a good thing. Um, to prepare yourself mentally, I don't know. Like I said earlier, do you like to suffer? Or do you not mind suffering? You know, mind over matter. I don't mind because you don't matter. You know, you gotta uh, just not let stuff bother you. You know, we, we uh, snowball effect is huge in doc, you know. Uh, you show up, maybe you didn't sleep well that day, and then you're on the run, so the run sucks. But while you're on the run, you're thinking about WaterCon, and you're like, WaterCon sucks. But you're not even at WaterCon, you're on the run. But in your head, you're at WaterCon, so your your run sucks, and then you get to Cal's, and maybe uh, you weren't fast enough, so you got yelled at. So then you're like, whoa, boom, and this snowball just keeps boom. And then you get the fin training, and you got a Charlie horse because um, you're not hydrated enough, and you know. Then again, you you do something wrong, and it, now two instructors know your name for the day, and you're like, oh man. And then you go to lunch, and you're like, oh, you know. And the whole time you're thinking about WaterCon. And so then you get to WaterCon, and WaterCon hasn't even started, and you quit, or, you know, you freak out, or, you know, whatever. Um, and that, those are all real scenarios. I've seen that happen a thousand times. People are like, blah, you know, and, and they'll, they'll quit. We haven't done one underwater, and it's because they were, they were doing underwaters all day long. So when you're in whatever you're doing, you're mowing the lawn, you know, it's a mindless event. You can think about something else, but you know you're lifting weights. You're like boom, boom. Don't think about you know 
I don't know, where you're going on your date that night or what you're eating. Think about what you're doing. And if you learn to live in that moment, it's going to help you when you get to us because you're going to need to learn to live in that moment. In that three-day window or that 30-second window or that, you know, just one more step. Uh, you know, you got to learn to live in the now. Because if you don't pass now, you're not going to be here later, so it doesn't matter. So, you know, you got to do what you got to do. So, you make it happen. Plus, you know, the my football coach used to say, you know, there are three people, three kinds of people at a football game. There's people, you know, watching the game, there are people in the game, and there are people going, what, there's a game? You know, don't be that dude that's like, what, there's a game? You want to be in the game. You know, if you want to be a spectator... Go be a spectator. Go do something else. But if you want to be, you know, give me the ball, give me the ball, I want to do it, then, you know, definitely coming in and doing this is for you. So mentally, you know, you're learning to live in the now and you're building stuff up and you're getting used to suffering and you're learning to appreciate what you got. Uh, Physically, you know, uh, you're doing more running than someone thinks is good. You're swimming more. You're in the pool you know, so much, like I said, you develop gills, you're, uh, doing cows, you're this monster, just, whoa, you know, um, not necessarily loud, but I'm just saying, like, in your head, you're intense, you're focused, uh, that's what you need to, and they all build upon each other, you know, if you're focused on, on, in this, you can be focused in that, and then you're like, all right, you know, this is what I do, and like Make Me Bad said, when he's doing his underwaters, he's focusing on his, um, underway, his strokes, how it goes, how it feels, hey, that felt mm, not so good, hey, that felt good, you know, hey, that works, hey, that doesn't work, 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 train, 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 prepare, 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 uh, you know, I can't, uh, um, that's what I'm looking for, I can't stress enough that, you know, the, the old saying, uh, The more you sweat and train, the less you'll bleed in battle. Totally true. I know there's a million cliches, and, you know, uh, maybe they're overplayed, maybe they're not, but they're true. You know, there's a reason that they exist. And so, that's what I'm telling you, that, um, that things like that, you know. Uh, and then spiritual, you know, um, you don't necessarily have to be spiritual. Uh, Sometimes it helps. Because, you know, you, you're able to say, alright, well, uh, I'm doing this for the greater good. I'm doing this for something else. I'm doing this for the chance to help people. Um, that's important. So, if if it helps you, go with it. If it doesn't help you, then, you know, don't go with it. And I'm not talking about, it could be God, it could be Allah, it could be Jehovah, it could be the Buddha, it could be whatever. Whatever helps you get through the day, who cares? You know, that's all that matters. Is, did it help you? Did it work? All right, I like it. You know, um, well, anything short of Satanism, I don't know. Maybe, I don't don't know if any Satanists in Pararescue, but, uh, you know, killing chickens and stuff. Yeah, I know, they don't all kill chickens. They're happy, wicked Satanists. I'm just saying that, you know, if it works for you, go for it. I don't care, you know. Um, just find something... You know, find friends, find buddies, uh, find like-minded people, find beautiful people that are as beautiful as you, and, uh, you know, not that none of you are beautiful snowflakes, <laughs> uh, little fight club joke there, um, if you get a chance to read that book, that's an awesome book, I like it, anything from Chuck Palahniuk is good, he's an awesome writer, uh, very hateful, very angry, uh, good good driving forces. Like I said, uh, hate, anger, and guilt got me through a whole lot of stuff. And uh, their opposites are faith, hope, and love. And they they work pretty good too. Um, But you figure out what's your drive, what's your purpose, what's your goal, what makes you tick. And then you use that to its utmost ability and that's how you're going to graduate. So, um, that's my belief. I don't know. Could be wrong. If you have any ideas, go with that. If you're like, dude, uh, you know, I'm more of a patience, uh, determination, and, uh, uh, what's that? 
monotony, you know, um, <laughs> where you just keep on going, whatever that word is. Whatever makes you drive, you drive, you know it? If it ain't broke, don't question it. And um, so, I hope you guys have a good night, a good day of training. Uh, don't think too hard, that might be another thing. Uh, if you think too much, you're definitely going to overthink everything. You can't overthink stuff. You can think it and be like, alright, I'm going to think about this. i got two minutes. Mm, alright, I like it. I'm going to stay with it. Uh, I don't like it. Alright, screw it. We're going to change it. We're going to make different plans. I've always been open for different plans. You know, when I when I was running a mission, and I'm like, alright, this is my plan. And then maybe a senior would be like, hey, uh, what about this? Sometimes I've been like, ah, mm, no, alright, when you're in charge, you can do it your way, we'll do it your way. Right now I'm in charge, or I've been, you know what, dude, that's a great idea, let's do it. You know, I am, I don't know, I'm smart, but I also know sometimes people are smarter than me at other things, so, you know, you gotta play to your strengths and your weaknesses, and if you know that maybe you got an idea, but then someone's like, hey, did you think about this? And they're like, dude, how did I miss that, you know? Or like, hey, uh, I got it. it, sounds pretty good, but I like my idea, we're gonna go with that. When you're, you know, tech sergeant, master sergeant, we'll do what you want to do. But uh, for now, let's do what I did. And then in the after action report, you know, when you're, you're doing your debrief, you're like, hey, dude, how'd that go? Well, you know, I could have done this better. I could have done that better. Or, you know, man, that flowed really good. Uh, which, come think of it, I don't think any after action debrief that anything has ever flowed perfectly. I've had some pretty good things where everything goes pretty good. But for the most part, something's always going to go wrong. Helicopters break down. Um, people don't do what they're supposed to do. You know, bad stuff happens. I mean, that's just, that's the, that's the world we live in. You know, something's always going to go wrong. Um, and so your best bet is to be prepared for it. And uh, the more you think about, think about it, like in having it prepared, not think about it like overthinking. But the better prepared you are, the better you'll be. So, you know, just roll with it. And, and be prepared for changes. And uh, Semper Gumby, you know, ever flexible. Because shit happens. And uh, it happens when you least suspect it. And it happens when you least need it to. Um, so be prepared. Be a little Cub Scout. So that's it. I think I've hit on everything. Mental, physical, spiritual, in doc types of things that'll help you. Think about what you're doing, live in the moment, and focus. So, uh, thank you very much. Hope you guys have a good night. And, uh, hope you're warm wherever you're at. Anybody that's in Hawaii or California right now, I am totally jealous of you. Um, but that's alright. Because, uh, I'm me. And you know what? You can't be anything else other than yourself, so. It's not a real jealous. Um, so be happy with who you are. That's another quick ending. All right. Be happy with who you are. Live in the now. And focus. And then train really hard. And then some other stuff that I already said that I don't remember, so I can't reiterate it. But someone told me that it's really good to re-hit your points at the end of what you're saying. And uh, <clears throat> But I forgot. So it's all right. So... Everybody makes mistakes, man. Just uh, learn not to make them more than once. Alright, I'm done. Thank you.